Caitlin, I love that you are humble and you lift me up. I may not always get it right, but I will try every day. I will always remember today as the happiest day of my life because today we stand before God and pledge ourselves to each other, serving each other every day and living for one another until death do us part. I love you the extra most bestest, Matt. Dear Matthew Alexander Reeves, I don't know what I did to deserve you. You are the most generous, kind-hearted human on the planet. I love how much you care about other people, how strong you are in your faith and your character. I am the luckiest girl to get to spend the rest of my life with you. Thank you for showing me how loved I am day after day. Thank you for always being there for me. Thank you for supporting me emotionally, physically, spiritually, and mentally. Thank you for being my best friend always. I love you. Love, Kate. All in all, our friendship has been one I have been blessed to have had. I am so happy she found Matthew to be her husband. Besides Caitlin Stiles' hair, she is also kind, loving, strong, and independent. And I have seen Matthew celebrate um, and acknowledge these traits in Caitlin. Also, over the years, I have seen Caitlin serve the church in so many capacities, whether that be sharing the gospel with homeless people or serving in the kids' church <laughs> and now at Palm City. And I'm so happy that she found a husband that she gets to serve the church alongside of, and he is just as passionate about serving his church as she is. Well, we have come together in the sight of God and these witnesses to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. And on behalf of Matthew and Caitlin, along with their families, we want to welcome you to today's celebration. Matthew and Caitlin, you have expressed your desire to have a marriage that honors God. To do that, it's important that you follow the biblical model for marriage. First, Caitlin, to the role you're stepping into today, understand and support your husband in ways that show your support for Christ. The husband provides leadership to the wife the way Christ does the church. Matthew, go all out in love for your wife. Everything he does and says is designed to bring out the best in her, dressing her in dazzling white silk, radiant with holiness. And this is how husbands ought to love their wives. hearing these words today, I challenge and charge you both with the understanding that marriage is more than a piece of paper. Marriage is more than words, and it's more than a natural ceremony. Marriage is a supernatural event where you both enter into a covenant relationship, not only with each other, but with God. You must understand your roles as husband and wife, but you must also understand the importance and significance of God's role within your marriage.
I, Matthew, take you, Caitlin, to be my wedded wife. I will be a husband who is first humbled by God's love and then your love for me. I promise to hold your hand through all the trials of life, whether in sickness or health, for I know God is bigger than us. Hi, Caitlin. Thank you, Matthew, to be my lawfully wedded husband. I prayed that God would lead me to his best choice. So I praise him today for giving me you. I promise to be the person who you can depend on every day that we live. I promise to pray for you. I promise to pray with you and to initiate times of prayer as your spiritual leader. I am so glad to have a godly woman by my side, and I'm honored to become your husband today. As your helper, I will respect you and pray faithfully for you. I will support your goals and your dreams and help you fulfill them. I am blessed to have you. And today, I'm so glad you're my best friend. It's my greatest honor to become your wife. Well, Matthew and Caitlin, you've come before us and before God. You've expressed your desire to be husband and wife. You've shown your love and affection by joining hands. You've made promises of faith and devotion, and we have sealed these promises by the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, as a licensed minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and upon the authority given me by the state of Florida and the word of God, it is my privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. Matthew, my man, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Miss Matthew Reeves. Today, I really, I do celebrate you guys, but I want to give you some words of wisdom. Matthew, listen to Kate. Even when she's wrong in your mind, you've done the research, she's still right. And listen to her so you can see why she is. Listen to Matthew, but the thing is, also listen to him by his body language. Guys are stubborn. They don't like to admit when they're struggling. And sometimes we just need a hand or the words I love you is confirmation that it's okay. Both of you, listen to God. Listen to the Holy Spirit because he has a plan for you, Caitlin. He has a plan for you, Matthew. But he has a plan for you together. He did ordain this marriage. And if you listen to him, he's going to guide you, he's going to celebrate you, and he's going to grow you closer together and closer to him. So I wish Caitlin and Matthew many happy years. Um, congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Reed. to everyone else here because we're all celebrating you guys. You guys are Mr. and Mrs. Reeves and we love you both.